From the moment Security Breach Ruin launched, everyone who was involved in the original Security Breach speedrunning community jumped on it immediately. And for the first few hours, things were looking bleak. Steel Wool had upped their game significantly in the battle against the treacherous speedrunners, blocking off everything they could possibly think of with invisible walls, random debris, or anything. However, they didn't quite catch everything, and if there's one thing you can describe speedrunners as, it's persistent. Nothing's ever perfect, and Ruin is the perfect example. We found holes, cracks, little slip-ups here and there, and when we found those, those led to more holes, more cracks, more little slip-ups and goofs. This game is insanely broken, and that means the speedrun is insanely fun. Alright, here we go. First run ever. You know what's really I funny? I checked my comments on my new video what? today, and people are really mad at me for not liking Cassie's voice. And I find it so funny because they completely missed the point I was making. I was talking about how it makes no sense that she's so sassy all the time. The character didn't sound real. I'm sorry. She didn't. It sounded like actual MCU dialogue. <laughs> it's just the way it is. I love her sass. Someone subscribe me. I kind of tolerate this tiny disagreement. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Cassie's voice is better than Gregory's. Gregory's just a whiny brat. I'm okay. I want to punt mask Gregory. I think you mean mimic. Also, what's really funny, in the files, or it, it's, I don't know if it's in the files, but apparently, officially, when the mimic is mimicking Gregory, it's called Grimic, which sounds so much like Grimace, and it's so funny. Yeah, Grimic. It's the Grimic shake. Is it supposed to be in Utah? I know they sound like I live there. Yeah, I think they're supposed to be in Utah. Yeah, like Hurricane Utah. I think that's where like FNAF usually kind of takes place generally. Uh, ah, 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 I hate the FOV. Okay, first skip. First skip of the day, gamers. It's a tough one. Ah, I messed up. Hold on. You gotta get good. Ah, so close. Come on. We're gonna get good, and then this is gonna save time in the long run. There he is! Yes! Alright, we win. Almost gets killed by a killer animatronic. Dude, can you not? Yeah, actually, that's just Cassie. It's so funny. Uh, no, wait. Am I going the wrong way? I am. I always go. I always miss this. Ah, scary! Can someone mod Ruin to change out that line for just Tobey Maguire's my back? Please, just make it official. I would love that. <laughs> my back! Ah! My back! Thank you. Hello. It's so close. It's so close. I forgot the part where that's my problem. We just need a mod for Security Breach that changes out all of Cassie's lines for just uh, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man lines. That would be amazing. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. <laughs> the door, the door, the door, the door. Shut up, child. I know. Really? I would have never guessed. What a revelation to come to. The voices are back. <laughs> so, Monty Golf, I don't think, has any actual skips to it that actually do anything. But Daycare is the first place in this game to have actual skips. Unfortunately, it's a painful one. So prepare yourself. What? Okay, a lot of random noises play, and I never know what to look at. Because it did not direct my attention in any way, so I have no idea where I'm supposed to be looking. Love how they made Eclipse. Eclipse is a great character. I'm so happy that character exists. That's such a fun character. What a cool way to kind of end off a Sun and Moon story. What a fun way to do that. Grimmick is in my shake. Get him out of there, man. Get him out. Eclipse is a fan favorite for real. Okay, okay, I was thinking about this, right? When I was editing the Ruin video, especially in the Eclipse area, I feel like I remember Eclipse being like a fan name for something. I think it was like, wasn't it like when Sun killed you or something? People started calling that Eclipse? Was it Eclipse? Am I, am I correct in remembering that? Eclipse was that also in BB's Air Adventure game? Gotcha. Eclipse better than Cassie? Well, yeah, not much is better than Eclipse. Eclipse is a great little character. I love Eclipse. Kellen Goff, once again, absolutely pops off with voice acting. It is so good. But I feel like Eclipse was just when Sun's model killed you for whatever reason. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Find the symbol. Find the symbol, stupid. Find the symbol, you dumb stupid.
Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, man. Sure, man. <laughs> yep, that's the mask clip in the worst place ever. I forgot it could happen there. Great softlock technique. Thank you. I try my best to softlock things as much as I can. Oh my gosh, it really set me back. Wow. Okay, we're doing this all again. Great speedrun so far, guys. You softlock this game no matter what. It's a skill I've developed over my years. I've become the ultimate softlocking machine. If you think a game can't be softlocked, just ask me to play it. I'll find a way. I always do. Should I speedrun a softlock uh, instead of this one? <laughs> softlock percent. What a great idea. So, guys, the skip is right here. We're gonna be here for a bit. There it is. I think. Wait, so I was a bit wrong. It was not there. I actually did use the same path in when I was practicing ma maskless uh, daycare, cause I am routing out like the entire thing with maskless right now. And I use the same route I just, uh, forgot the way over to the door. Let's just do it all again. Yeah. Are you sure the devs aren't messing with you like a backdoor hack? I, I don't think they are. I'm gonna be real with you. Up we go. Up we go. Up we go. Upsy daisy. Up. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up we go. Come on, Cassie. Oh, dude, that too much hurts. Oh, <laughs> it's brutal. You're wasting time trying to skip a segment that isn't that long. I don't think you've played the game. We had it so quickly the first time, and then this is just, this is just being brutal. A different day, can I skip? Yeah, I'm going to. I don't know the other ones though. Someone knows it. Please do tell me. We could do that, but noticing that path, it's something I was messing with for quite a while, right? is oh what that's bs i forgot i gotta walk backwards while doing it. i can't just stand still there we go all right and we're set there was a different place that i found a little skip for and it ended up with me standing like right here right no why can't i unmask here why can't i unmask what is happening oh okay um Oh no, it's here. This is where I need to be. Right here. So if I mask right here, right? And then I unmask, like it's a really specific point. It's like somewhere here. Where is it? There it is! GG. <laughs> now where there's the auto save. Now we need to actually reload here because we can't actually progress. Oh, actually, can we? Can we progress? We can. We can progress. Never mind. We can progress. We're good. We can progress. Gift shop not loaded. No, it's it's one of the two that load when I go over there. It's either the gift shop or the theater that loads. I forget exactly which one it is. Is it the theater that loads? Oh, it is a theater that loads, not the gift shop. Right! Yeah, we gotta restart. Okay. So try to do the master. Oh yeah, we're gonna be trying that for a very long time. Not right now, right now we're just kinda learning the run, the speed run. But maskless is something I am going to be working on for a long long time. The one in here, hi buddy. Blah. I don't think maskless is possible to be honest. That's what everyone said about half of the challenge runs in security breach, and look where we got from there. Never say never. Nothing is impossible in security breach. Exactly. Why there, hi pal! What in the world? Hello! Alright, let's wait for a second. This guy's gonna be a problem. Wee! Wow. Alright, so we need to not go that way. We need to do this. How does she survive that? Cause um the power of Freddy Fazbear. Rune is better than SB by a mile. Am I dumb? Where am I supposed to go again? Am I just perhaps... Yeah, I need the mask here. Not... Not... Just, yeah, I need the mask here. I don't know how. But I didn't. Also, I realize that one is slippery, but, like, it doesn't slip at all. I just kind of noticed that. 
It is the least slippery, like, slippery platform ever. I sprained my arm, never broke it though. Oh, I've sprained tons of stuff. We had no breaking and fractures. Nope, nothing. Knew a guy who would break his arm every six weeks. I knew someone like that too. They played hockey all the time and they were very rough. And I actually went to watch them once, right? Cause like we were hanging out and it's like, yo, wanna go, wanna go watch my game? I have it in like half an hour. I'm like, sure, sure. Let's go watch it. Let's go see. I, I'm not a sports person, but you know, support the homie. So I did, I went and this man, I'm like, I've always wondered like, why is that? Why are you always breaking your arm? And he says, oh, cause hockey. I'm like, okay, well, and he never really, he kind of said, oh, hockey, hockey's rough. You know, I'm like, I was like, yeah, hockey's rough. It's not that rough. But I went to watch him once. This man was a truck, an actual truck. Nothing could stop him. He was running through people. It did not shock me in the slightest. He kept breaking his bones constantly. Like you imagine a normal hockey player, like actually like trying to take people down and then you this guy trying to kill them. Hockey is so like, people always say football is one of the most dangerous sports. No dude, hockey is man. Hockey is dangerous. Yeah, Gregory, whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. That's so cool, Gregory. I already did that, you stupid child. Imagine 100% marathon of every FNAF game, all endings, and every all max modes. That would take days. Actual days. I don't think that's feasible. We have a skip to do. We got a skip to do. It's like... Here, right? Oh, what? Oh, I'm just doing it wrong, I guess. Okay, um... Oh, nice! Oh, dang it. So we gotta, like, hit, like, a little... We gotta hit, like, this. Okay. There we go! Got it! Alright. And then, jump across. To here. And then... Drop down to here. Jump over this! Oh, dang it! Okay. Parkour skills on point, per usual. Good thing about 300% not as long as 600%, no one will do 600% multiple times. Yeah, no one with sane mind will. Yeah, 300% run, I wouldn't mind doing that. That would be fun. I have a few ideas for things I want to do in this game. I have a few ideas. I've been waiting for Ruin for a very long time, because I have just so many things I want to try with this game, because I, I kind of missed the prime of Security Breach. So Ruin was like my second chance. I'm like, I want to, I want to, I want to use this. I want to be here for this game. Okay. Yeah, got it. And then we go over here. And then we wedge jump this. Oh no, this is a mask one. Let me wedge jump this. Nice. And nice. Oh wait, for how long is Mixus not going to be active anymore? Wait, because we deactivated him. So how long now is he just not going to be active? How long is that going to take? Like, maybe it resets? I don't think it did though. Because we never went to the point where he got reactivated. I wonder. I think Mixus stands for... I said this in Raito's chat. I had a theory. I think it stands for my xylophone exists somewhere. That's what I think it stands for. An amazing name. I know, right? My xylophone exists somewhere. Everyone has a xylophone. It's just you gotta find it. Mimic extreme execution system. <laughs> Sounds like something Gregory would name it. Is David your real name? No, it's um Jeremiah. Now, on this level... Uh, there's a skip to immediately skip the entirety of Roxy's, and I'm trying to remember exactly what it is. I think it's coming up here. Yeah, I think it's right here. We put the- we stand in this corner and put the mask on. GG, thanks for playing. <laughs> that's chapter- that's chapter, uh, chapter five, done. How broken is this? It's more broken than you'd think, but just in different ways. Cute puppy! Cute little puppy! Womp. Womp. Womp womp. Over we go. Hi, buddy. How you doing, man? How is he waterproof? Uh, cuz FNAF. Sure. Cuz FNAF. Now, this next skip is a bit painful. This next skip, uh, if I take an L here, then we have to reload. Because soft locks galore i don't remember all my buttons do you need assistance, do you need assistance? Do, do you need assistance, assistance? yep right here got to get this wedge jump up we go there we go then up here over here walk along this 
And then the scary jump. I messed it up. Soft lock time? Absolutely. Oh, all right, we did it. All right. Okay. Okay. Where now? Let me quickly look at... Okay, cool. Got it. And then make the jump! Okay, we're good. Yep, then here. Drop down. And this way. Nice. Nice. Can we see how the Switch version DLC, if there's one someone crash the Switch? I don't think it will. Gonna be real with you. I don't think it's gonna crash the Switch. I mean, if, if Security Breach didn't, this definitely won't. All right, chat. Now here comes my favorite skip. I found this one. And it's probably... In terms of how much it skips, yes. it is Again. probably the most powerful what skip in this here? game right now. I you do it personal there. skips? Oh no, this one is used commonly. This is like a peak skip. Tafit Baron pioneered the ruin speedrun. Yeah, definitely. Oh, there we go. Yep. Wow. All right, chat. If you haven't seen it already, this is what I call, because it's my skip, I will name it the Bonnie skip, because that's what it is. You ready? So, as you know, this is Bonnie Bowl, the longest section in this game. All you gotta do, walk up this corner, do some wedge jumping, good old wedge jumping, and eventually, you get out of the map, you go this way, jump here, like that, and then jump across to the vent, Go up, and crouch. <laughs> Easy. Wait, I'm thinking now, did we ever re-trigger Mixus? I don't think we ever re-triggered Mixus. Anyways, another skip. Uh, up we go. Uh, up we go. We call this one of the hardest wedge jumps in the game? No way. No way. Uh-uh. That one is not one of the hardest. I think it's one of the easiest. I get that one pretty consistently. Bam, bam, boom, bam, 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 bam. Amogus Freddy! It's Amogus Freddy! It's like, why does Freddy have no head? If I remember from the beginning, from the end of the uh, Princess Quest ending in Security Breach, Gregory and Vanessa take Freddy's head with them. So, yeah, no. It fell off, I guess. <laughs> he just lost it accidentally one day. Just, whoops. That's what the Brazil is referencing. I didn't see Freddy's head anywhere. I don't know if it is. I'm not a theorist, so I might be missing something, but I just thought of something. Hear me out. I'm not a theorist, and if you don't like what I'm saying, too bad. I don't care. We know the Mimic is trying to get people down into the basement, right? And in Security Breach, Freddy is helping Gregory get down to the basement, at least in one of the endings. Is helpy is a representation of the Mimic talking through the mask. We know that because of the yellow eyes and the weird veins. And then in the Brazil ending, Helpy is where Freddy's head should be. Was Freddy always the Mimic? Was Freddy possessed the entire time? The fact that Helpy's there when Helpy has been essentially the Mimic the entire time? Mimic wants to get out. That's a pretty good way out. No, because Funtime Freddy's supposed to be German since location. Ah, dang it, that kills a theory. I forgot he was German. Yep, that, that changes everything. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Bye, Roxy. Everyone say bye to Roxy. Bye, Roxy. Bye-bye. You know what would be really funny? If the Brazil ending was the canon ending, and I just solved the whole thing. A guy who barely pays attention to FNAF lore in the slightest just figures it out on a whim. Wouldn't that be crazy? I uh, I learned this myself. They actually said multiple times throughout the game, made it very clear, Roxy was Cassie's favorite. And on Cassie's last birthday, the only person to actually show up was Gregory. And Roxy was always Cassie's favorite because Roxy was super involved in her birthday and even remembered it. No, 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 come on. Stupid. Honestly, I agree, Cassie. I agree. Do you know the skip in this area? I do know it. Absolutely, I know it. 
Yeah, our time is abysmal right now, but we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that. Bump, bump, bump. Nyomp. There we go. And then nyomp. Nyomp. Nyom, 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 nyom. Oh, dang it! <laughs> Whoops. As Rock said, I'm sure your friends will come this time. That means Gregory isn't even a friend by logic. He just inserted himself. He was just bored. He's walking around the pizza place. He's a kid celebrating her birthday alone. Walks up to her and says, Yo. Birthday. Pretty cool cake you got there. Can I eat it? <laughs> Imagine Gregory just genuinely doesn't actually care about Cassie. Is just faking the whole thing just to get a bite of cake. He's just hungry. <laughs> the ultimate manipulator. Come on. Oh, I can't see the jump. It's so tough. Some of you think Rune is better than Sis Location? It absolutely is. By a long shot, it is better than... Okay. If I were to place on my normal ranking... I would put Ruin probably number five. Below FNAF one, three, four, and Ultimate Custom Night. I know that I like Ruin though, so you know. There we go, got it. Bonk. Nice! Right behind you! Is it? I don't think it is. I think you're lying to me, Gregory. Gregory, didn't your parents ever tell you not to lie? That's rude. You can't do that. <gasps> Hi. There we go. There we go. An hour and a half. Wow. Brazil. Brazil. This is only the tip of the iceberg, however, as even while I was in the middle of that run, skips were being found at the same time. Some speedrunner friends of mine were DMing me videos the whole time of all these new skips, and to say it was a bit overwhelming is an understatement. With all these new skips being presented to me, I could see the sub-hour run being possible, but to achieve that much of a time save is going to require some work. So in between streams, I grinded out Ruin as much as I could, slaving away hours to hit these insane skips consistently. How successful was I? It varies. <sighs> but at least I had a chance to pull it off which was more than enough for me. It will never cease to amaze me just how much we can break this game, even without our own timeline-shattering robot bear. At the time of editing this, the run is on the brink of going past sub half an hour, which is monumental. I'm very excited to see how far we can really push this game. I'll link the official speedrunning Discord in the description so you can join if you're interested in learning the run yourself. Highly recommend. <laughs> oh, I didn't have a time. Retime! How do you survive DVD that much? It. Um, hyperfixation, ghost there. face, and thinking it's better than it is. Really? The accident wasn't your fault. Oh, but it was. It completely was. 15 people that one night. Completely my fault. Never forget what happened in 98. Never forget. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> I know a bunch of DVD players because the player has a huge overlap with For Honor. Yeah! Yeah, it does. Oh my gosh, there's so many for some reason. I don't know why those two games have so many players in common, but they do. There was a knight in DVD. Well, that's only been in the game for like six months. It's really new, and oh, the For Honor overlap has been a thing for years. Listen. Oh, come on! I hate it. I hate it, 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 I hate, I hate, I hate. Pain. Pange, pange. So, here's the funny thing. I was told on that TV, in Markiplier's playthrough, apparently Mark edited a Shadow Bonnie onto that TV and made everyone start freaking out. It sounds like something he would do. Yeah, I heard that he did that and I found that so funny. I'm like, that is so good. Do that more, please. Screw with theorists, cause I think it's really funny when they realize it's not true. But you know, I'm a theorist now. I am the best FNAF theorist you've ever seen. If you want FNAF theories, just come talk to me. I'll, I will theory it up. Yeah, I heard about that, Isaac. I, yeah, that was so funny. That was a, that's a bug. I hope they don't fix, but they definitely should. Because, because that, uh, that, that, that will impact people's experience heavily. Any wild theories you can pull right now? Yeah, I got a few. William Afton is alive and is hiding in all the mini music men. You want proof of that? No, you don't get any. Just believe it. There you go. 
Wee. It was really funny too because my mimic theory, I was looking at Rai's chat while I was explaining it, and I was expecting all the hardcore FNAFers to write it off as, oh, this stupid speedrunner doesn't always talk, we doesn't know what a Golden Freddy is or something like that, right? And I'm just sitting there like, I'm looking at everyone's reactions, I'm like, people agree. I actually was smart. I said something smart. I was so happy. What we would never bash a theory, never. Our fandom not known for that at all, never. I have never seen that happen before oh, in my entire yeah. life. Oh, I hate that little symbol. You, I don't know if you guys have it on yours, but there's a weird icon, little heart icon, that blocks messages. I don't know why it's there. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I hate it. Mods are gone, let's riot. No, I'm still a mod. Yeet. Yeah, Isaac's still here too, yep. Behave or she'll snipe you. Barrett 50 cal just Get him. Without mods, we can say naughty things like balls. We will never know the true lore. The FNAF lore? Oh man, I know the FNAF lore. But I can't tell you guys, I'm sorry. I know all the FNAF lore. If there's FNAF, if there's FNAF lore, I, I know it. Have, we, have you guys seen? Okay. Have you guys seen the fake like Sigma male, the the fake like Sigma male uh posts where like <laughs> they like are making fun of like Andrew Tate and all them, like where they'll say like read that again or read that backwards or something stupid like that. <laughs> I, mean, I hope someone has seen those because they're so funny. <laughs> it's like instead of why am I putting my mask on? Instead of like uh saying like oh like actual advice like go to the gym. Or, you know, like, get, like, get fit, eat healthy. It's like, invest in rare fish. Um, and then, like, you know, uh, go swimming for 20 hours in 24-hour day. Sleep one hour, wake up, and eat garbage or something like that. Like, that's that's the rich man's mindset or something stupid. It's so funny. You're not one to fear, but be feared. I'm a Sigma male. I go to bed for one hour, and then I eat, um, I eat run eggs in the morning to motivate me. With my five dollars in my bank account. That's right. I have a whole five dollars. Read that again. <laughs> I play League 12 hours a day and I hate my life. What's your excuse? It's really funny. I love it. No! Pange. 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 No! No! How is the speedrun going? Not great. I'm trying to learn to skip and it's not going very well. <laughs> Help. Help. Okay, cool. Spiff, get good. This is easy. I don't know why you're struggling with so much. <laughs> okay. ah! Unlucky. Yeah, let's go do the TV for a run, just to get an actual rundown in the stream, and then I'll go back to practicing that. I do find it really funny, though, when people actually try to shut down my theory by bringing up facts from another theory and say I'm wrong because of this, even though that isn't proof. That's just saying you're wrong because I, I, I don't think you're right. It's really funny when I see that. Look at that time save, 41 minutes. My favorite, my favorite FNAF game that I've like played, not watched so far, might be ruined because I replayed it through the main beginning chapter a few times. Just doesn't get boring to me. It doesn't. That's so weird. It's so linear, but it's not boring. It's amazing. I don't understand. It's an actual marvel of game development. A super linear game like this doesn't get boring. I don't get it either. That's why I think Ruin is so good. Ruin is standing the like the boredom test because linear games often fall to it, but Ruin's uh. Ruin standing against it pretty well. You've seen Board on first playthrough? I did see Board on first playthrough, right? But the more I've played it, the more I'm enjoying it. The first playthrough, I was like, yeah, it was all right. But then I played again, like, this is actually pretty good. Okay, I'm liking this, I'm good. The more I play it, the more I love it, which is something that doesn't happen often. <gasps> Cute puppy! Would you do a stream on a platform not made for streams like Zoom after Spiff's stream? Absolutely not. I love watching you speedrun this. I love speedrun seeing people twist again and get these results. That's what I love so much too. That's why I started doing streams in the first place. Is uh, cause I, I the reason I found started doing streams is because I found um Spiff, right? I found Spiff's it's content. Gone. And I was like, yo, this is sick. Like this is awesome. I wanna do this. This is so cool. So I started doing it myself. That's that's the big reason. There we go. We are so out. We are so out of here. What's up, guys? Oh my gosh, you have how fast you are. 
That's terrifying. All right. Guys. Guys. Like Boys. It must lead to whatever's locked okay, we're good. <laughs> Hi there. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. What's up, dude? No! <laughs> did I get the auto save? I hope I did. The puppy kisses just kill the run? Yep. Princess got a little excited. Sorry, my bad. She gets excited around new people. You get it. What do you think deers think when it's hunting season? Because at this point, I think they're pretty familiar with the time of year that people go hunting. So what do you think they act like when they realize what time it is? I feel like it's like almost like an apocalypse scenario. They're like, all right, man, we got a challenge ahead of us. Some of us are gonna die. This <laughs> gonna die in the next week. Look at that time save. 30 minute time save. Let's go. It's still not my personal best. Lol. Are you jamming the signal? Ha! Huh? What do you mean? Oh, I was jumping. That's why. Guys, jump. I, I love how they play that off. When you jump, just to prevent another situation like jumping into Freddy to deload the map, they just don't let it happen at all. But then <laughs> Helpy just says, oh, that's weird. Something's jamming the signal. Are you flying? <laughs> Are you currently suspended in air? I knew it. I had a feeling. Nintendo Sports. Dude, I loved Wii Sports when I was younger. I love that game so much. I play so much. Wii Sports Resort was my go-to. I think Wii Sports was fun. But Wii Sports Resort was the peak. Wii Sports Resort went so unbelievably hard. Well, my, my favorite one is a basic answer, but bear with me. I really liked the swordplay level. I, I like sword, 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 blah, 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 blah. the swordplay games were great. And the showdown, the showdown level in particular, that was peak. Especially the music. The music is so good. Also, showdown was cool, but I remember playing at least out of the sword games. I didn't like the fruit ninja one. I thought that one was really boring. I, um, I really like Showdown because the music just went so hard. Like, it's actual, like, scourge of Wii Sports, like, boss music. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Shut up. Me fight, fight for my life against Matt. Matt is terrifying. Matt is so scary. I don't know why they didn't make Matt, like, an official character in Smash Bros. Because that man is a menace to society. No one beats Matt. No one. Matt is horrifying. That clean, shiny, bald head with that goatee. Oh my gosh, it's horrifying. Wow, guys. Wow. No, come on. Come on. Look. There we go. There we go. I just love being horrified by Matt. <laughs> Matt versus a mimic who wins? Well, okay. That's, just in that's an interesting question. Because does the m can the mimic mimic Matt? Now we have a serious question here. It, that's, that's essentially Matt versus Matt. I don't think it cancels out though, because think about it. Matt is still a human being. Matt will get tired. The Mimic will not. So I think the Mimic would win. Because the Mimic can be Matt, right? But Matt will eventually tire out and the Mimic won't. All Mimic did was Mimic Gravy's voice. He'd be Matt versus a Matt voice. That's true. We don't know the extent of the Mimic's mimicking abilities. We don't know if it's like a Taskmaster kind of situation. The whole earth would shake with a fight between Matt and the Mimic. It absolutely would. 100%. I miss the puppy. Well, don't worry. We're going to see the puppy. There's the puppy. Look at the cute puppy. Look at the cute puppy. <sighs> Toddler hunting season has begun. <laughs> That's my emotional support feral alligator. <laughs> that guy is. Well, now my dead emotional support feral alligator. <laughs> Do you hear you look like CG5, but do you hear that you look like do you look like the David Baron? I have heard that. Give me back my eyes! Wee! There we go. Do you need assistance? Is that the Freddy birthday? That's the Freddy birthday singing. Someone said that wasn't you. That is you. That's right there. I heard it. That was the Freddy. Uh, that was the Freddy singing. Feels weird being a David Baron stream. You are a David Baron stream. That it, I, kudos to you, honestly. Well done, impressive. Life of a stream, not life of a streamer. But it's like day in the life of a streamer. But instead of streamer, it's day in the life of a stream. Oh, I do nothing for most of the day. Then at 1 p.m. MST, David Baron opens up OBS, and I can finally see the world. And then he shuts it off. <laughs> then I'm back to darkness. Until a few days later, he goes live again. <laughs> but then David gets audio delay and I'm alone again. Speaking of audio delay, we haven't had any, right? Is everything good? Awesome. I'm so happy I fixed it. Yeah, I was actually panicking after that stream. I was sitting there for an hour trying to figure it out. I talked to a few people. The person that probably helped the most was Emil. Emil found a 
post somewhere that talked about the exact issue I was having. Like, no one else knew but that one person on this random forum. And I would have never found them. And then from that, they had a few options there and I used one of them and it fixed it. So I was like, yes. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't do it. Wah, wah, wah. I don't want to hear it. Why am I- why is my hand invisible? Stupid flashlight! What am- why is my hand invisible? Okay, okay then. Oh boy. Oh boy. Black screen? Oh, what in the world? I think the mimic took your screen. <laughs> Brazil! Brazil! Sub 50! We are going to Brazil! I really hope it's canon. I really hope it's canon to make theorists just like start smacking their heads against the walls because that'd be so funny. I hope it's canon.